All right, welcome back to another episode of our Guild One playthrough. In Nightfall, we are almost done with our Istan Island. We did all of the primary missions. There's a few more primary quests that will actually tie the, um, connect the gap between this character and the, and Rozier the Mesmer, who has already made it over to Alona. So we're just going to finish up this last leg of Istan, and I'm hoping to complete it this episode so that we can carry on with our mesmer i went ahead that was my that was always my plan from the beginning is to do the, do it this way where i have a dervish showing what it would be like to start in nightfall as a beginner um and then going back and connecting to roger the mesmer but i went ahead and made a poll in which 15 people voted uh pretty happy about that and it was pretty overwhelming it looks like 67 percent wanted to bring back Rozier the Mesmer and 33% wanted to keep going with the Dervish. So as I respect both of you, um, both, of, both of those decisions, um, I could see going either way. I do, I, I did start to enjoy playing Dervish and I, I'm not going to delete this character or anything. So maybe later on I could, um, do some content with Moog, the Re Moog Red Reaper, my Elden Ring in inspired dervish but it looks like we're gonna go with roger the mesmer he he won out um which i'm kind of happy with because that's what i wanted to do anyway all right without further ado let's let's go on to the next area it looks like i have some equipment i can go through really quick though uh i got a new shield for costs uh he's using not oh he, bingo now he can use his defender Pretty sweet looking defender, and I, I'm gonna keep that inscription. I think it's cool. The fire damage armor, and I'm just gonna apply it. And I cannot because it's not inscribable. Great, awesome. I'm gonna keep it. Maybe there's something else I can inscribe it on later. Um, but yeah, let's go. Let me salvage some stuff. I could outright sell this stuff, but it's like only 28 gold. It's gonna be more worth it just to keep the mats. That's the abbreviation for materials, if no one's <laughs> acting like I'm like some, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Whoops. Turned into a snowman there. It's funny, I'm still poking out the sides of it, though. That's weird. And the snowman is facing the wrong way. Anyway, it is Christmas in July, so that's why I've got some of these Christmas-inspired drops. I am all over the place. Let's go to fight... Iron Fist, who's waiting for us in the Matani Keys. I'm gonna continue with these heroes. I like their builds. Uh, just make sure I got all their attributes set. We'll put some more smite, I guess, on. No, we'll, we'll put more healing on him. That'll be better. And yeah, I, I'm also still happy with Jin with her uh, trapper build. I think I would like... To, I don't know if there's any pets in this next area. I would like to get a pet for her. But as, as we're almost done with this dervish, um, I'm, not, I'm not really looking too much into customizing the skill bars at the moment. I'm pretty excited to get back to Rozier in oh. level 20 my level 20 party at Tani keys this would be a good chance to check and see if i can get that chest again that i got in the previous episode <laughs> will this be the episode that we complete this mission probably not but we'll bring him we have yet to complete this this will be the third attempt that we try and help raylan raylan gibbons um in the chasing down this sneaky corsair haven't been successful. Oh, I need to talk to... Darn, what a waste of a bounty. I need to talk to that Sun Spear. Also, I noticed the volume of the game was a little too loud in the last episode. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Really, it's really difficult for me to tell the volume sometimes. Like, if it's... Um, if it's going to be okay on 
because it's it's fine on my headphones but like if i'm watching the video on my phone versus on a computer versus with my earbuds in it's really tough to make the make sure like the volumes the audio settings consistent throughout so if anyone has any recommendations on that or if i'm if i'm just too overly concerned about it please let me know because i'm a little self-conscious about that honestly like am i too loud is my voice too loud it sounds okay no it doesn't sound good you know that's the stuff you don't really realize when you're making videos but um yeah kind of annoying to think about it and worry about it all the time get in there Jin. oh that damage look at that damage And we learned that there's an ambush waiting for us right here. So I'm going to go ahead and prep for that. Make sure our energy's up. And the Mandragores tend to go right after Raylan. So if I were to go up there first, the Mandragores would come and then they would just go right after Raylan. So we're just going to meet them head on, kind of body block them a little bit. About to lose a commoner. No. Okay. Oh, there's a flamingo. I could have gotten for Jin. You know, the only thing better than one flamingo is two flamingos. My Freddy the Flamingo is doing some damage. 17, 11, 47. That was me doing the 47, I think, but still. My uh, Beast Mastery is only level 3, so he's not going to be hitting too hard. But he has a whopping 260 health, so. A little bit of a meat shield action. Would be a good name for a pet, Meat Shield. Or Meaty. Okay, we're gonna wait here. The other mistake I made is aggroing both of these parties. So I need to uh, be careful up here. This is where I failed the mission before. Oops. Wrong enchantment. I thought I had Heart of the Holy Flame already up. Okay, though. So I'm going to go straight here and take out these plants. Be careful. Back up a little bit. I need these guys to move. Oh, they're moving in. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. We'll back up. All right. Let's just fight it. Let's try and take them out before plants come which i think we can't because we got them bottlenecked over here on the bridge yeah i plan to do this actually this was my plan the whole time i'm an expert tactician and that's just how i play this game i just plan out every single battle i immediately know the outcome of every battle because i put so much forethought into the strategy <laughs> Yeah. Anyone who's watched my videos before know that that is not true. I try to be strategic, but like, as you can tell, Raylan is going down. Nice. All right, let's heal up. Looks like we have to go into battle again. Awesome Maloney can blood sponge that a little bit. Yeah, see, the, they tend to go straight after these NPCs. Who got the level up there? Is that me? No. It was Milani. And my pet. Awesome. Uh, let's go... Mysticism. Excellent. 
All right, we're looking good, looking good. It looks like both of these missions end up the same way. Yeah, they, they're like the same. Oh no, the, the Lone Raiders first. Let's go. I hate that rush spell. That rush spell is so strong. I'm not even sure what it does, but whenever I see enemies with it, what does it do? Um, target foe, something, twice as long. You just have PTSD from that rust skill because of those uh, ice elementals in the Shiver Peaks and Prophecies used it. And they tended to nuke my entire party. Okay, we got two enemy groups here. I think we just treat them as one group and just take them out. Hopefully, uh, yeah, see, they go, they're, okay, they're going after Takora, that's fine. We can tank it. I mean, these guys are only like level seven. We got a boss. Commander Were Shakul. No, you are not very cool after all. Heck yeah, we finished the mission. Third time's a charm. Alright, Raylan Givens. Bingo. How we need 3.5k for the next level. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this mission. Uh, actually, I'm a little worried because if I finish it and there's a cutscene, it'll automatically teleport us to the next area. And if it teleports to the next area, we won't be able to go over here and get that chest. But actually, I think it's... I, I'm pretty sure now that chest is once per week. Oh, it's not the end of the world. Let's attack them as they're grouped up. You know what would be nice running a dervish is having a elementalist that has double dragon on it. Seems like a pretty good way to just obliterate the enemy team. Look at them running through the running through Jin's traps. That was awesome. Worked like a charm. All right, yeah, this is going to be us cutting. Such noble sun spears. I've raided your villages since I could carry a weapon. I would trust me as far as you can throw that spear. So the noble sun spears in my help. What an interesting turn of events. I guess my life is worth a few words. Assuming Elder Soul doesn't send me off to a prison ship when all is said and done, I'll come peacefully and testify during your little tribunal. But only if the sun spears grant me amnesty. It seems we have a deal then. I mean, I didn't get to say anything, but I guess so. All right, um, yeah, I'm just going to go back because now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure that chest is once per week and it will not have respawned since the last time I got it. So now we go to Plains of Jareen. Oh, that glitch didn't work this time. Yeah, last episode... There was some sort of glitch where I ended up with a fifth party member. I'm not sure how that happened. How can you recreate that? Because it would be pretty useful to be able to do that in hard mode. I guess it happened after completing the mission. The mission ends with you going straight to the Sunspear Great Hall. I need to test that sometime. Run the mission in hard mode. And then they would transfer, 
you would end up back at the Sunspear Great Hall, and then you would have an extra party member to vanquish this in hard mode. Something to think about, something to try. I suppose later on I'll have to do a playthrough of hard mode with the vanquishes, but that might be a tall order. All right, Jerk, I mean, Jerick. So you found Iron Fist, did you? Hmm, that should at least help keep you from embarrassing Elder Sewell. Seems Morgan himself will appear to answer for Varish. Judging by the atmosphere in the consulate, provincial relations... Okay, it just gets progressively irritating. Uh, have gotten extremely tense, and there is still no sign of Cormier. How very typical of her. Remain close. The tribunal will begin soon. General Morgan has arrived from Corna. Okay, that was fast. Let me tell you how the tribunal will go. You will stand alone before 22 individuals, 11 from Corna and 11 from Istan. They will ask you a series of questions and allow you to call people to present statements on your behalf. During the testimony, the tribunal members will be able to pass votes to resolve the truth of the matter. Once you are ready, we will head there immediately. So this is the part of the uh, game. It's like the first, the first time... I mean, obviously in factions, we had some choices, uh, you know, siding with the Kurziks or siding with the uh, Luxons. But this is the first time where, like, in the missions, you have, like, dialogue options that can go one way or the other. Or you have, uh, yeah, just certain certain ways to change the outcome of, of the cutscenes and stuff, so... It's kind of, you can kind of see that it's leading towards the similar style of gameplay and story development as um, Guild Wars 2. It makes you wonder, at which point in Nightfall's development were they already considering about Guild Wars 2? Um, something, something to wonder about. Alright, so we have two bars here. I guess this is the satisfaction uh, level of Sunspears and Corona, something like that. We obviously want the Sunspear bar to go up and the Kernan bar to go down, I believe. We've gathered here to answer allegations brought against the Kernan government. There have been claims of inciting aggressive Corsair activity against Istan and of summoning forbidden evils. You will present your order, represent your order. The Sunspears, General Morgan, will represent Kerna. The accuser, you will be asked questions and may call individuals to make statements as respond. As representative of the defending party, General Morgan will have the ability to respond in kind. Blah, blah, blah. Um, Morgan is talking about uh, General Kayet was acting independently of Varish. There's no relation between Kerna and this crazy General Kayet person. Basically, just totally throwing General Kayet under the bus there. Elder Sewell says... Okay, choose your representative. Um, well, we did just find... We did just have Iron Fist to testify for us, but I don't know if I want to start with that. I feel like he's going to be our, like, uh, secret weapon or something. So I'm going to start with Dunkoro first. I kind of am leaning towards Talcora because she's the one who kind of set us down this whole path, but she's a little bit immature in explaining her biases. She's a little, I, I don't want to say immature, she's a little bit biased. Like she obviously has had it out for Kerner this whole time, so she might not be a a, a strong witness. We're going to start with Dunkoro. He's calm, cool, collected, calculating, and strategic. He should be good my thought process anyway i don't know if this is optimal Ooh, he, he look at the way he walks out it looks very cool i don't think those are the weapons i have on him is it i thought he has a staff those from istan know me those from kerner know of my work i cannot count the kernan villages or the istani fishing fleets i have personally protected against uh, Corsairs and monsters over the years. I don't say this to brag. I say it because in all my years of fighting the darkness, I've never experienced more evil than what Kayet the, and by association Varish released on Faranur. If you stand by and let Varish continue, we will have more to face than merely Corsairs and rabid plants. Well said, Dunkoro. I kind of thought it would be a little more compelling. Um, he didn't. He didn't bring forth any kind of evidence. Or, or, like, 
nothing of real substance in anything that he said, but our Sun Spear rating went up, so that's good. Your first claim is that Varish and Kayet are responsible for what happened at the Sun at the first city, Faranur. What exactly was the Sun Spear's, invo Sun Spear's involvement? Um, we responded to the evil that was released. Without us, the Apocrypha would have been killed. Hun would have killed hundreds. We arrived and found many of our diggers decimated and consumed with some darkness. This might be a good choice. The first city of Faranur was the home of the original Sun Spears back in dynastic times. Cormier ordered it excavated. This sounds a little bit aggressive because it's like, hey, it's ours, it's our business, blah, blah, blah. I feel like this one makes us more of a victim, so I'm going to choose that. And that was not the right choice because some current just went up. As much as you'd like to claim heroics, there is proof that your leader, Cormier, is responsible for the excavation of this area. It was cursed and off limits for a reason, yet in her hubris, Cormier felt the need to investigate something better left alone. All right, well, that sucks. We lost a lot of points there. Uh, let's bring in... Let's bring in... Hmm... Koss is a little bit hot-headed. Taukora is a little bit biased, so let's go with Milani. I have seen firsthand the evil Varys has wrecked upon the El Elon and my village of Ranjok. The Elon? Is that what they call the people of Elona? She damns the river and enslaves the centaurs. She would strike at the very gods next. That's something we haven't seen yet. I'm, not, I'm surprised that she brought that up because I have... Ah, uh, Ranjok. Were you not exiled from your own village? Something, something, waterworks, crops... You wouldn't expect these wise and noble people to hold Varish Marshall accountable for wanting to see her people fed and nourished rather than starving and dying? No wonder it is no longer your village. Ooh, this doesn't sound good. Ugh. So, Milani was a mistake. Let's watch. Let's watch it go up. No? Did it not change? Yep. Dang. This isn't going well. Please explain the Sunspear involvement with Corsairs in regards to these events surrounding Kayat's death. Corsair Armada was being funded by Corona. Sunspears kill Corsairs. We didn't do anything out of the ordinary. That sounds a little bit close minded. We stopped the next Corsair invasion of Istan. I feel like it's got to be A or B, but B. Sounds like it, it seems like he he didn't like that we played the hero in the last one so let's go with b this one has a little bit more evidence because this one is like speculation this one's hard evidence and then this one is a little bit closed-minded so we'll go with b oh dang it <laughs> i'm like thinking this out and it's getting worse Information you obtained was through less than legal contact with direct enemies. The fact that you have dealings with these cutthroats throws doubt on all of your statements. Oh, uh, this is rough, man. Okay. Uh, choose your representative. Let's go with Iron Fist, I guess. I feel like he's going to betray us. Because he even, he even foreshadowed it. He was like, you shouldn't trust me. It's nice to see you again, Elder Sewell, especially since this time I am not under your arrest. It's crazy he's got a sword. As long as I get to walk out of here free and clear afterwards, I'm willing to tell you what you want to know. So, we had been receiving Kernan Corn, Kernan Coin from an anonymous Kernan since or a source for quite some time. It was really helpful helping with morale, if you know what I mean. And our forces had grown steadily because of it. I was supposed to meet with this source, apparently Kayet. Boy, this thing. Good thing I sent someone in my place. That could have been my body left to rot in the crypts. Uh um, <laughs> I mean, he he's basically proving that Kernan got paid off. Let's see if it changes. Yeah, okay. It went in our favor a little bit. I think this is the last one, though. 
What is your stance towards Corona? We are at peace with Corona. Corona and Istan are kindred provinces. This one might be good. This one's also good. This one sounds a little bit too, too like diplomat diplomatic. No, the first one sh sh sounds a little bit uh, like oblivious to what's going on. So B or C, I'm leaning towards. Let's go with C. <laughs> Dang it. Yet one of Kurna's generals is dead. Oh, on Istan soil. If Kayat hadn't been acting, blah, blah, blah. I see no standing for the Istani accusations at this point. Oh, uh, what happens? Do we fail? I read everything carefully. I'm back. I heard Cormier was coming back to Kamadan and I went to get her. Is that okay? What is going on here? Why are my people being persecuted? Here, Marshal Cormier, your followers have made some wild and baseless accusations. By a general, I have seen firsthand that these charges against Barish Osa are neither wild nor baseless. You should be standing here in judgment, not my son Spears. Apparently, I have returned just in time and I've brought allies from Cantha and Tyria. As leader of the Sun Spears, I demand that War Marshal Varys step down, blah, blah, blah. Or else what, Cormier? War? You'll find the War Marshal more than willing to face you in battle. Here we go. We're going to war here. We are done here, Sewell. I must return to Gandara to speak with the War Marshal. I don't know what will come of this, but if you value Estan's future, I strongly advise you to ignore Cormier's wild ravings. Um, I guess, I guess we've, we've finished it. I mean, I don't see how there's any difference in outcome because Cormier just comes and like wipes, wipes the slate clean, it looks like. Yet if we don't wish to be dominated, Kurnus. Yeah, is there any point of, is there any like extra reward for choosing the right choices there? I may not leave the Sun Spirit Great Hall on missions much anymore. Okay. Oh, uh, do we need to do all these, I guess? that one this one you need to stir the winds and then this one are these all primary quests oh they are all primary quests all right let's just do them one at a time i think we can still finish this in one episode And we're going to get level 14 off of this. Very nice. We need to go... Oh. It'd be better if we come from this way, I guess. Yeah, that last, that last mission was really weird. I don't know if that changes the outcome or if there's bonus reward. Narashi and Lonai, I think they become um, potential henchmen later on. You have done well in my absence. Really? I feel like I didn't. You must strike quickly at the overwhelming force of Kurnan or no match for the dullest Sun Spirit recruit. I have no doubt we will win this upcoming war before we launch. We must be battle ready. What do I need to do? I could hear you coming if it was... It was a, it was the cadence football. The sun spirit is a dead giveaway. These recruits were handpicked. Your job is to lead the recruits to the south and kill the scale to give them a taste of battle. I'm not sure the point of this mission. Feels like we've already been here plenty of times. But I guess we got to do it again and again. Oh my gosh! Exploded. Just keep going. Oh, they're level one, that's why. Like, we don't even really need to attack them. It seems like these Sun Spirit recruits could 
pick them out easily by themselves. Oh, I forgot to use Strength of Honor. Oh, I'm gonna hear... I'm gonna hear that in the comments. I'm positive. You idiot! You forgot to micromanage Strength of Honor again! Alright, I remember this time. Give me a break. Oh, these are, these are level 13. Look at that damage. Oh, they want to fight that. Report to Atok. I think later on, that that uh, crack in the wall, there's going to be something to that. Just suddenly remembered this area. That's another thing, like, that would have easily gone unnoticed, that crack in the wall. When Nightfall first came out, I wonder if they added that in when Eye of the North came out, or it was always there. Because, yeah, I mean, people would just assume, oh, that's a cool little crack in the wall effect. Did anyone, can anyone uh, admit or uh, honestly say that they noticed it before Eye of the North came out? If you can, that would be really interesting to hear. All right, a talk. Give me that level up. Oh. Oh, and now when? Dang. What do we need to do now? Oh, we finished it. Okay, sweet. So we finished one of three. I guess these these missions, these three quests, are just to, just in case you found yourself rushing through, it's it's to get you up to level 20 or close to it. That's why they added these extra mission or these extra quests in. Let's get some beast mastery up and earth prayers. All right, next up, ghost and reconnaissance, which is in Latenda or wind and water, which is in cold Lonu. Uh Let's just do Ghost Roots Connaissance first. I like this Latinda bog area, as some of you did in the comments I heard. Get Talcora and Milani back in here. Plus Domination and Earth. Yeah. Good to go. Could go a third monk and make Duncoro full on smiting but that's okay we're not gonna fix what ain't broke you know uh let's talk to the scout first i'm also gonna get a blessing i haven't done this in a while now that i'm rolling in the dough i'm gonna get wind i thought there was a mysticism no huh all right, we'll just get, um, we'll just get the armor bonus, I guess. Down on the bayou, very rich. I could tell you some stories. My guide, excellence. Comes to a plethora of relics. Make the rich worth your time. So some rich person is hiring us to escort them. We we have been all over this place, so he chose wisely. Don't forget Strength of Honor. I did not. I purposely waited till now to use it. <laughs> Alright, we don't have to go that far. We just need to go through here a little bit. We 
we doing? Okay. What's this person collecting? Probably some useless Alonian Vambraces. No thanks. Of course, Alonian that's that's an armor type we haven't seen yet. We've seen Istani and we've seen Sunspear. We haven't seen Elonian. Oh, there's warthogs here. I like my flamingo, but if I didn't tame a flamingo, I 100% would have tamed a warthog. The dodge almost hit the dust there. It was close. What's he doing up close? Like, why is he meleeing the enemies? Stay back. I mean, really, I shouldn't even have spoken to him. I should have just cleared the way before speaking to him to ensure that we don't fail this. I wonder if that was an option. Come on, put those traps down. Nice. All right, you're you're talking too much for Dodge. I don't have time to read all that, especially in the middle of a battle. A lot of gold though. Oh, it would have been nice to have a pet warthog. Look how cute he is. <laughs> Uh, is this the way to go? It looks like we have to loop around here, yeah. I think this is the place where those three like statue heads are that we noticed last time. Not so bad. We're only like 40 minutes in and we're I think we only have this we have one more mission after this and I think we end up at the consulate docks where the mission that takes us to takes us to Elon Elona is. We don't really need to do it because we already did it as uh, on our mesmer. We're just about finished with Istan. Really cool level design. It's so cool. Hey, okay. right here. What? What's going on? Is this not where we go? Kneel at the Sunspear Crypt. Okay. Sogolon, the Protector. Isn't Sogolon one of the... Henchmen? Maybe not. Premier may be the greatest spear marshal ever, but I would have loved to challenge her while my body was full of life. Ah oh, well, let us vo let our voices be your armor against the darkness. Interesting, he says Cormier is the greatest sun spear or spear marshal ever. So even the even the ghosts recognize her. It is time to storm Gondara. You and your brethren will not be alone. In every battle cry and every faded step, we will be your armor. We are iron buckled. When iron buckles and your spear and your spear when steel fails. But first you must prove your worthiness. Can we not we we didn't do that? 
Thought we did. All right. One more left. Nice. Looks like Koss is level 14. I missed that. Let's get him some tactics and strength. All right, we're gonna go to Oh, yeah, Code Lonu. Finally. Let's just add our henchmen just in case. I'm not sure what we need to do here. The sea is a harsh mistress. Only the Astani and the Corsairs dare sail at this time of year. Treat the sea right and you'll make it to shore. Whether your ship's... Okay. Summon the winds and currents to spirit us to the port of Gandara. Well, I think I remember this one. I think we need to fight some uh, Dijin. I, I never know how to say that word. Jin? D-J-I-N-N? Jin? Genie? Oh, Raylan has another mission for us. Also, I have like 11 battle commendations. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with all these. Maybe there's someone we can talk to to trade them in. I don't think you can get any much for them. I think you can just get like some keys. Or like salvage kits, identification kits, those kind of things. How are we on? We're Sunspear captains now. Awesome. All right, Raylan, you can come with us. I can't guarantee your survival because we're probably not going to finish this mission. We're just doing war preparations, but he's going to help us. I have a full on army here. Wow, and we get four extra sailors. Five extra sailors? One, two, three, four. Oh, he's under attack. Well, we failed that. <laughs> it doesn't say we failed it, actually. We need to defend the sail sailors, but we're we're having a hard enough time fighting the mandragores. Wow, what a uh, a cluster f. Nikolai Jin with the level up. Oh my goodness, all their dervishes. That's why. We're all, we're all grouped up. Only two sailors left. Looks like we're going to fail this. Wow. What? Oh, my pet died. That's why. Heal me! Oof. Vital boon coming in clutch. I think we failed though. Yeah, we failed. All right, let's try this again. Um, and we're not going to just super aggro everything. All right, that was tough. All right, this time we're going to pick out the mandragores first. We're also going to position a little bit farther or a little bit in front of the sailors. So they're, they're not tanking all of those scythe shots. I think bringing the domination in earth is still the correct choice here. Okay, we just got a little bit of extra uh, experience. 
Bringing these guys also is a good idea, I think. But when did those when did those mandragores pop up? I don't understand. Let's just search around here real quick. Also, before I forget. Nice one. Just go ahead and clear off some of these hide ads. Ad blocker. I really should be using Vital Boon first before using Heart of Fury because when I use Heart of Fury and then Vital Boon, it's wasting precious attack speed uptime. All right, we're gonna move in front. Who's taking damage? Burst him down. Excellent. Attack me. I'll tank you. Oh. He melted my pet. Yeah, I'm not going to resurrect my pet. Oh my gosh, there's so many. There we go. Guys, attack me. Don't attack the sailors. You need like a minion master for this or something. Okay, we did it. Golly, that was tough. Raylan survived. That's pretty good. Kenya Kella. We are the storm. We are the calm. We are the winds. May the tides carry you safely and may... The winds fill your sails. The blessing, blessings of wind and water. Ears. This, uh, looking at their skin, they use the same model. Uh, obviously, changing, changing some of the textures, but you can see very similar models in Guild Wars Two. I like that they kept it for the consistency. All right, that was the hardest mission. Good thing we saved it for last. Our quest, rather. All right, talk to Puba. And with that, we have completed Istan, I believe. Last thing to do is to gain We already have we we already have the uh Sun Spirit Captain, so we can do this or we could have been level 17. Luckily, we failed a bunch of times and got some extra Sun Spirit points. So we're just going to go down here. And do the final cutscene that will lead us to the end of Istan. Hope you guys enjoyed so far going back and doing the starter island of Nightfall. Obviously, there's still so much left of Nightfall. Um, yeah, but I felt like, you know, this was a good five. How many episodes did this take? At least four or five episodes to do all of Istan. So... I, I think I definitely made the right choice in going back and not skipping over this. It just would have been it would have been too much skipped content, I feel like. Um so be effective. No. I don't wanna do that. I just wanna go talk to Cormier. I mean we're Sunspear captains. I don't think we need we need command training. This cutscene should look familiar because we've already actually watched it with our Mesmer. But this time it'll be with our Dervish. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, here we go. Is there no cutscene? It says help her rally the sun spears. Also had some nice words to say. Here we go. Um, Sun Spears do not stand idle while Parish Asa harms Elona. The time is nigh. Mog Red, Red Reaper. I must say, this is the greatest collection of heroes. Yeah. <laughs> this is the greatest. <laughs> I, I was surprised last time. This is the greatest collection? Are you kidding me? You know what? Since she went to Kantha and um, Tyria, though. Like, there should be some Canthans and Tyrion here, right? Like, Devona should be here, and maybe some of the some of the Canthan characters. But, yeah, I wonder why they didn't do that. But she supposedly went to Cantha and Tyria. Anyway, they should have done that. Oh! Oh, okay. There's no cutscene. That's weird. All right, not quite done. I thought there's a cutscene there. Go to the consulate docks. Another reminder: we could go up to Eye of the North. We're not doing that. Who do we talk to? Going up here. <laughs> there's, a, there's an arena here. I never realized. I thought they. I thought when Nightfall came out, they got rid of all the low-level arenas, but I guess I'm wrong. This ha 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 na. Elder Souls is very busy man without me. Blah blah blah. The Sun Spirits have rallied the, for battle. We must inform Elder Soul of our intentions. We are ready. Here we go. Cutscene. Gormir, why have you gathered your sun spears? Varish has denied your charges and banned your followers from Korna. I feared as much. As of this moment, Varish Asa and her supporters are enemies of Alona and of the sun spears. Varish is warned and ready for us now. We must sail for Gandhara and confront her before it's too late. The Stani ships would be of great help. You would plunge Alona into civil war. We have not yet exhausted diplomatic channels. With respect, Elder, we know what we have seen with our own eyes. Varish is a danger. It is our duty as Sunspears to defend Alona. My Sunspears will perform their duties with or without your aid, Elder. Will the Astani fleet support us or not? Yes. Yes, we shall. And may the five gods preserve us all. All right, so here we can get Elias and Zen Mai, which we already went through here. And we are officially caught up to Rozier the Mesmer by uh, being able to do this mission. Obviously, we're not going to do this mission uh, now because we already did it. Rather than doing that, we're going to conclude the episode here. And the next episode is going to be rejoining Roja the Mesmer and Alona and continuing from there. So if you made it this far, thank you for watching it and stay tuned. We're going to continue Nightfall starting next episode. So thank you for watching. Peace.